Yeah, hi, everybody. <laughs> I just, You're so easily abused. I am. I am wow. because, you know, it's like I do some really dumb things sometimes, and I just plain got to laugh at them because it's like, wow. What yeah, but hell? I get to do. I get to watch this for free on on Skype. <laughs> I know you do. I don't, I don't even have to put out for a plane ticket to Kansas or anything. Just throw on the internet. And there it is. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Hi, okay. do Hey, B. How you doing? Uh. B. Yeah, and Grammy finally pulled her head out of her ass and got shit going. Oh, and... wow, when you put it like that, it sounds so dirty. I know it does, doesn't it? But, you know, I have, I have a tendency follow... of reading very serious stuff and finding something dirty in it. <laughs> no, you have, you have a tendency of not following directions to see what will happen. Yeah, mm, yeah there's that, too. But um, it's always this useless shit like Spreaker and all that. I'm not, you know. Go against the system sometime, little missy, and see what happens. <laughs> I can just see you out there with your little protest sign. Don't piss on me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. They got piss candy you now. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's see, over oh, on this effing site. Who's who's over here? Site. I know the effing site. Uh, let's see, who's over here? Ah, the lovely Estrella is here. Estrella. As well as Grimmy and yours truly, Grams. And, yeah, and Grim finally put on... Well, Grim did his job. I just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I am the queen. See, that's why I wear the crown, because I am the queen that's, of the dorks. That's so. why you're the, the co-hostage here every, almost every Saturday. Oi, 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 oi. What? Okay. Some weird-ass <laughs> shit on the... On Spreaker, or not Spreaker, oh. on Twitter, and it's like, what? That don't make no sense. Okay, over here in the corner pocket, I see Nensen Dubois shot the duck. Damn it. Oh, but other sure. than that, I don't see anybody else over in the corner pocket, so Nobody hey. Nobody in the pocket except Sock. Well, no Sock isn't even in there. No Socks, the pocket, the Sockless pocket. The Sockless pocket. There you go. Um, we have reached the end of the internet. Ah, ah. There will be no exchanges or returns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're stuck with what you did, fuckers. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Okay, so come over here to the RLM, which is where you need to be and where I needed to remember to push a frickin' button. <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> Let me make sure everything's okay. Everything's encoding properly. <laughs> I just had to make sure. Okay. Barman is right up top because that's where Barman always is. He loiters right up top. <laughs> yeah, just laugh at me. I, mm, yeah. It's, yeah. Ooh. And to think, I'm going to be processing uh, green beans and all kind of other shit today. Wow. Processing? Yeah. Wait a minute. That's way more than I needed to ever hear out of you. Ah, well, I went out and picked string beans today. We uh, planted some purple oh, ones. Oh, I thought you ate some. And never mind. No. No, I went out and picked some, and I'm going to have to be snapping green beans and, and uh, blanching them and either throwing them in the freezer or making something with them this evening, which I might make something with some of them. I don't know yet. I would suggest that you build a wall. <laughs> with my string beans? I might be able to oh, do that. Long, it's a long story. Okay. Mm, Grimner! Grimner! Grimner's right up there! Um, okay, I got I to gotta comment on this, because it's, it's uh, a yeah. fake, fake, fake picture. So, just a sec. But I was I was anticipating when you you get to the, uh, the loop yeah person. okay 
Well, no, there's an uncommon sense thing, and it's uh, mess, uh, me also mm. posted this picture, but if you look really closely at the picture, you can see just it, it's photoshopped. And it's like, don't uh. be spreading that shit. That's how okay. that's how shit gets started is someone photoshops or tells a lie and the next thing you know, we're at war oh. with fucking North Korea. Jeez. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Get yeah. that central bank installed. I know. I know. Okay, yeah. Grimner yeah. is here. Hey Grimmy Thank you hey. for letting me know that I was having trouble. <laughs> 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 I also wow. see Kate is here. <laughs> you're, and you're so fucked up, you need other people to tell you that you're fucked up because you don't even know it. Well, wow, some... that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there yeah, are times when that's bad. <laughs> there are times when I think I'm doing good, but then someone says, "By the way," <laughs> and I go, "Oh fuck." <laughs> By the way, it's always bad news. Yes, That's it like is. Mail. Yes, it is. Find a male. Yeah. And uh, okay, whatever. Yeah. So I pushed the wrong button. What are you going to do? Take away my birthday? Kenny! <laughs> what? Kenny! <laughs> You're not saying any... Hi, Hi Asmo. 12, 12 Oh, man. After. Well, that's because I had a brain fart. Give that me a break. That was a fart. Okay, that was no. like a that was like a enema. <laughs> My brain shit itself. Okay. I, that that was the result of a cold bean dip enema. What happened to the dork table today? <laughs> Ain't it great? It was it was intrusive, invasive, and very cold. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel much better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time you have to try it warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, I see balls to the okay. door. To the floor is here. <laughs> Who is this that's ballsy me. guy? That, oh, yeah, that's, that's you. That's Mary. Oh. Yes, because last night, uh, Mr. Grimnard, he he was balls to the wall. Ah. So I wanted to show him at the dark table. We have it, too. Ah, just to the floor, because you be, you've been getting busy. I also I see take. I also see the lovely Beth Z is here, as well as Chelsea Beth Denis. Z. So, don't have that O going on. Chloe is here as well as Chloe. Chloe, oh. Chloe. I know we got a double dipper. I'm here, Gramsy Dork. I see Alan just popped in. Hey, Alan. I'll probably say hey to you again uh, later. I be Don uh, C is here. Hi, I be Don. Uh, Java, 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 Thirty. Was See, I've learned job? how to read over the last week. I told you when I learned how to read, you'd be in trouble. I am in trouble. <laughs> I also see JJ's is here. Hey, JJ's. JJ's. Nine JJ's. Oh, whoa. Was that in the middle of a toke? Oops. RLM <laughs> Fluke, the Banna White of the RLM channel, is here. Have you heard of Deep Hit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have. Been a while since I've done yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Oh, anyway. Alan. Hey, anyway. Hey, Alan, Alan. Alan, hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. Hey, Ow. Hey, Ow. Hey, Ow. Hey, Ow. Hey, Alan. 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 Get it. Ow. Get it. Ow. Ow. Uh, 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 Alan. <laughs> 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 We're going to pick on him. <laughs> Rob Works is here. Hey, Rob Works. Where's the bubbler? Hon, I really need the bubbler today because, man, I've been having some issues. <laughs> Me and my buttons. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I like that's what pushing you like buttons. With, that's what you're like without the pipe. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> See? Uh, there's hope. There is hope in this world. Beetle! Hey, people, they tell you the wrong stories about weed. Weed enhances your ability to think. Oh, sure. Now you tell me. I told you this a long time ago. Yeah, Weren't but I listening? forgot because I haven't had any uh -huh. weed. <laughs> you haven't had toke. <laughs> I need a memory toke, please. <laughs> memory toke on aisle three. Okay. Beedle! Be dork. Yes, you must be, be dorky. Oh, be dorky. Yeah, I need to move my cursor. I can see the E part of it. Hello, Hi, Ms. be dorky. It's nice to see Miss B here at the dork table. Yes, it is. BTC Bob is here as well. BTC Bob. 
and Colfax 101. Hi, Colfax Col 101. Col yes, Colfax 101. Uh-huh. Dima is here as well, who is not quite so Dima as you might think. <laughs> I also see Dorky Lynn. Hi, Dorky Lynn. Hi, hey, woman. I see you. Frumpy is here, too. Hi, Frumpy. And that Frumpy. that guest, 72801, is still here lurking. They're a lurker. They're a lurker. I'm telling you, probably, CIA. Probably, probably hands hiding out so we oh. don't know it's him. Oh. Shh, don't tell him. He won't know I know. Oh, okay. Okay. Never he mind. listen to the show. Ah, I also see Jehovah One is here. Holy Jehovah. Um, Juanataco. What? Where the hell you at? I'm at Juanataco. I haven't said Juanataco. No, no, uh. -uh. <laughs> and then, I, then I burped. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kozu is here, and Moi, 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 as well as the Phantom Link Twenty Nine. Phantom Link Twenty Nine. And Poxified is also kind of sort of well logged in, but not really here. Hmm. Yay! It is good to have you here, Miss Dorky B. B. Uh, Dorky. Uh, Pon 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 Sauce is here, and so is the lovely Rain. Rain! And Sock Puppet! Just an echo. Yoo-hoo! Tip Bob! Hey, Tip Bob! And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Ville E underscore. And hey, under 20 minutes, even when I had fuggers. Wow. I uh, no. Okay, I don't get it. I don't either. Oh, well, you're going to start the damn show out and mesmerize me with your superior intellect? I'm, I'm just going to be sad. <laughs> oh, well, good thing I didn't do that today, huh? Hey, did you figure out what you didn't? Or did do to screw up the beginning of the show there, Miss Mary? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, okay. What was that, anyway? Well, what I did was um, I pushed the number three one, which is, is my speaker, and I didn't push the number one one because the number one one is the one that I'm supposed to do for RLM. But, <sighs> and then I pushed the number two one, which is my speaker for my Grammy, and... And it's like, what the hell? Spreaker ain't working because I was, you know, brain farting. And you know, when you put it like that, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> Damn. And Talk so about going all dork on us. Well, I and so no that's that, but that's why it was giving me that error because I already had Spreaker going, but I was I'm in a topsy turvy <clears throat> kind of day apparently. You know, with, with your with your destructive side. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, you should join forces with this guy named Donald Trump and go attack uh, North Korea and put a central bank in there. No. I have better what? things to do. I, I have weeds to pull. Wow. You mean you're not concerned about the amassing of wealth in the Far East? What kind of American are you? <sighs> Saturday, you're not even at work. You're fucking around on the radio like some kind of teenager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. am. Because that's how I roll, damn it. I'm what kind of slave? You're the most uncontrollable slave I think I know. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's right. shot's for you, Miss Mary. And Whee! we're going to try to finish the red label before the show is over. Oh, good Lord, we could be in trouble. We? we? Wow. Okay, okay, I might be in trouble. No, so. you would. You would be in trouble. From what? I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to figure. Somebody's going to have to be in trouble, because I hear that trouble is a place that a lot of people go, and I think it should have some kind of touristy thing going on. Seeing as how you know everybody is in trouble, and so they should make money off of this touristy thing in they. trouble. Who's they? I don't know. I keep hearing about things on the um. internet and and from people that. Somebody's yeah. in trouble, and I I've not yet found that on the map. Well, what it means is that see the American democracy system is superior to any other system on the known planet. No matter where you live, whatever you live under, it's wrong, and America has the the cure for all that. But uh, with it comes a central bank for your slavery pleasures. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. All right. That's the part that you're forgetting to tell people is the reason we want to do all this war shit. Oh, it's not because old Herr Hitler over there is going to come over and cook your neighbor. It's because the central banks want all of it. And this is how they're going to get all of it. And see, here I thought it was because they found all kinds of natural resources over there in Korea, and they went, oh, you can't have those M&Ms. Those are mine. Because yeah, I well, said see, the so. Best, the best part of that story is they did all that in the 50s, right? But what they're not talking about now is they did all the research to find out what they could find then. They couldn't identify it at the time. <laughs> They've identified it since and found uses for it. Ah. You know, like in 1950, I'm sure there are things they found plenty of they couldn't make a use of because the technology of the day wasn't all that great. But ah. they made their little list, and ah, they got 20,000 tons of this and uh, 2 trillion gallons of that. We'll be back. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so the Rothschild shopping list just gets bigger, and we got to do all the dirty work. Um, you're either for us or you're against us. Um, and I'm telling you, I'm again all of you motherfuckers. You're all insane. I think somebody overdosed on their damn medication and just started talking stupid. But that's my opinion. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to read you something because my friend Catherine in Ireland shared this. And, and it's I, she put lots of, of laughing. It better make you laugh, little missy. Okay. Okay. Of course I won't laugh, said the nurse. I'm a professional. In over 20 uh, years, I've never laughed at a patient. Okay, then, said Bob, and he proceeded to drop his trousers, revealing the smallest male part the nurse had ever seen. In length and width, was almost identical to a AAA battery. Unable to control herself, the nurse tried to stop a giggle. But it mm. just came out feeling very bad that she had laughed at the man's part, she composed herself as well as she could and said, I am so sorry. I don't know what came over me. On my honor, as a nurse and a lady, I promise that won't happen again. Now, tell me, what seems to be the problem? And Bob replies, it's swollen. And she ran out of the room. Okay, now you're not laughing at this. I thought that I'm was... I'm sorry. <laughs> no, maybe it was like more for a girl. Maybe it, maybe it was the delivery. I'm just thinking oh, that, what? wow, a AAA battery. Yeah. <laughs> and it's swollen. Whee! <laughs> okay. Never oh, mind. Oh, you're making fun of small peckered fellows. <laughs> oh, okay. That... You know, it's like me. That's how I live. I go, if it doesn't apply, how can I be insulted? Well, I wasn't Otherwise, going to insult you. I was just well, trying to make you giggle, most, but obviously you did not giggle because I, well, I, I kind of smirked. I was making the jokes about it the other way around last week. Oh. Yeah, we had quite the filthy show going, I'll tell you. Yes, we did. Yes, oh, we did. you had your head in the damn gutter. <laughs> <laughs> What were you thinking, you dirty girl? <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Talk about your ideas. Um, so, you know what I think I'm going to do? What? Well, I'm so impressed with Bitcoin that I'm going to talk everybody I know into selling all their all their belongings and investing all the money they get from their belongings into Bitcoin. There you go. Okay. And so then then when everybody realizes that it's just um cybernetic mm. currency, they're going to mm. like they don't know that yet. Are you serious? But I could use it to buy my tampons. <laughs> yeah, lucky for you. <laughs> mm. yeah. Just saying. I mean, just because you can buy shit with a thing, piece of paper or an idea doesn't make it money. They've just slanged the term money, so nobody knows what the fuck money is. Hmm, yeah. yeah. You've, you've been so Jewed over so many thousands of years that you wouldn't know the truth. If the truth got up, stripped its clothes off, screamed, I'm the truth in your face, got dressed again, and then disappeared, you still wouldn't ever know it was there. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because it's right in front of your face, that's why. I never see what's right in front of my face. Because. 
because they play along as though it's real. So the control's all in the electricity right now. Everything's dependent on this electricity shit. Mm. They got the premium fucking do wire prices going on in that electricity shit, let me tell you. You know, so you can keep your electronic shit running. But I ask you a question. What's that? What if they decided to shut down the electricity shit? Not let us use it for three days and for, three nights. For three days and three nights? Well, yep. number one, I wouldn't be going into work. Oh, darn. Number two, uh -oh. I would figure okay. out a way to uh, pump water out of my well. Um, yeah. And I just happen yeah. to know somebody that that's good at figuring stuff out. And uh -huh. uh, number three, yeah. I have a wood-burning stove, so I would be able to cook. Um... Number four, just keep my refrigerator and freezer closed. Hmm, mm. let's see. Oh, hey, yeah. Um, I probably should ought to get my, get, uh, have someone bring me a generator. Yeah, because that would work uh, to help with those things. Well, you know what? But, what? See, now I'm glad I brought it up then to remind you, get a pencil or cut your finger or write this in blood on the wall to get a generator because, you know. Yeah. You have it. You have the dork attention span, Mary. And by the time the show's over, you'll for, have forgotten all about it. Yeah. So I do the same thing myself. That's why I listen to the replay. <laughs> ah, well, yeah. And winter is coming, and it probably would not hurt to have a generator when winter is here. Because but. of the times that we live in. Right. Uh -huh. Not because any of this stuff is is so overwhelmingly real. It's because it could be made real at, at the drop of a switch. So the fear keeps you, wait a minute, take that out of my... <laughs> well, some people don't complain, they just go with it, but some of us resist a little bit. As much as we can, let's say that. Ah. Yeah, yeah. And I got it all figured out, too. You know what it's about? What is it about? Slavery. Oh, well, yeah. Right? To keep human beings in slavery so that they can't accomplish anything to, for their self. You got the illusion of, oh, look, I got a house I live in, and oh, I got a car I drive to my slave quarters, and oh, I got a secretary I, you know, visit at lunchtime now and again. But in the long run, what do you got? Um, I don't know. What do I got? Right. So I came up with a master grand answer to all that. I said, fuck you. I'm going to do what I want when I want to do it. And you know all it cost me? Uh, what did it cost you? Everything. <laughs> oh, see... <laughs> And that was something I was thinking about the other day because uh, we had, I know I talked about it a little bit last night on the radio, we had nasty-ass yeah. yeah, storms come through the other day that um, mm -hmm. it rained like a son of a bitch over us, but about 50 miles east, by the time it really built up some piss and vinegar, it flat-ass yeah. tore up a town. Okay. I mean, yeah. tore shit up. And, okay. And, you know, I I got to thinking... Wow, you know, the more stuff you have, the more you have to lose. Uh -huh. Just kind of popped into my head because people were talking about how you know all these cars were totaled and and mm -hmm. can't find plywood because all the windows were busted out in town and just and I thought, wow, wow, the more shit you have, the more you have to lose. Wow, I need to cull the herd <laughs> around here. <laughs> Yeah, but you've been saying that for years. <laughs> well, and I have been. I have been. Yeah, I don't rid of... doubt you've done something, but you've been saying the same thing, though. I know. Well, I keep saying it because I know I'm not to the point where. You, yeah. You're what? You're not comfortable. <laughs> no, I'm comfortable. I'm I, I'm entirely too comfortable, and I have too much shit. Ah. And part of that is because my mother says, well, you have more room. No, I don't, Mom, because you keep sending <laughs> stuff out here. <laughs> See? And that's what I mean. I don't... And I still have stuff. Yeah. 
you know, it's it's inevitable if you stand in one place and uh, you don't try to kill people. Usually some decent stuff will come your way. And they're putting up links on the RLM about government attacks North Korea. North Korea launches missiles at... Oh, fuck you. Okay, sure they did. Boy, this is one of those, we're going to get these damn weapons sold one way or another way. Yeah. And it's hard to believe that with, with all the the things that are at our fingertips today, that there's people that for any reason could believe that there's any reason to do this at all outside of to keep the bankers rolling in money. And it's not real anyway, so... Mm. I don't know how to stop it. Well, sir, I, me and Cirque were talking about this earlier, and we both believe that the thing's too big to to be stopped. It's it's got a life of its own. I mean, they've got the world convinced they're trading five trillion dollars a day, which it's stupid to begin with. But that's my opinion. Okay, but I think I agree with Cirque on that, and I'm going to go with it. It's too big to it's too, too big to stop. And you can't get enough people uh, involved at one time to change it into something else. It's always going to be what it is. Yeah. And there's not enough time left in our lifetime cycle to affect a change that's going to do any good. But we're we're good for each other and all. But as far as the the, the population and the greater plan, fuck, we're we're a little flea on the back of the demon that's eating the planet up. Yeah. But still nice to be a flea and at least bite it once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, once in a while. But I, I wanted to, you know, people to really know I'm not delusional, but I do try to uh, speak my mind about certain topics that other people disagree with. Like my stand on wheat. Are you fucking idiot stupid? Haven't you ever read a book? Please. What? But it's it'll make you go insane. No, it won't. It's not smoking it that makes you controllable enough to believe there's a little man in the sky that guides your life. Because <laughs> mm. the concept behind religion isn't so bad, but the the explanations are just nothing but control to me. You must do this, and you must do that, but you've got free will. <laughs> uh -huh. If you got free will, what do you need the rules for? True. I find that redundant. You know, I don't need rules. Well, you know, yeah. all of these people that say I've got free will and I got freedom of speech and I got this and I got that. Well, yeah, they they say that they have that, but they don't recognize it. Everybody else does as well. And so when you go pushing this shit out there of going, but I have free speech and you've got no right and that's that's just really okay, if you've got free speech, what makes you so damn special that you can take away someone else's? No. Kiss my lily white. Um, Grimner says I should have finished reading that tweet, but mm -hmm. I didn't open a tweet to read because I'm um, trying to do the RLM show, the dork table here at the RLM. Well, the tweet is, it's just, um, <laughs> well, okay, let me just, let me open it and I'll read it again. Oh, okay. you have, yeah. Oh, no, nope. I clicked on the wrong one. That's a, the Donald But to you were the one that was reading something, not me. I, I don't read links. Okay. Um... So it's, it's, I was just reading about links. Yeah, it's U.S. government. Like, this is the, a dumb joke or whatever. Attacks North Korea. North Korea launches missiles at Seoul and Tokyo. U.S. government. Look what you did unprovoked. And you going, really? Seriously? Yeah, and, yeah, I, I responded to that. And I said, sadly, no. there's lots of morons that will be live. This really happened. Because there are lots of morons out there that will start retweeting, U.S. attacked Korea, U.S. did this, uh, and it's like, no, you fucking morons, they did not, not yet, at least. Not Okay, not that I know of, maybe I should say that. 
Well, you know now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know now that there's going to be a bazillion twits out there on Twitter that are going to be retweeting mm. shit and going, but it happened, it happened, honest and for true. Well, I'm going to still look on the bright side of life. And then I scrolled down and I looked at another thing where somebody's got a picture of the Twin Towers and, and what it says is, oh. this is why I don't give two shits about the refugee ban. Listen, fuckhead, wow. do some research. <laughs> that was not ban. some other country that did that. <laughs> Fucking sure. morons! Ah, mm, okay. We need to find something more funner to talk about because this—I'm gonna get crankified. You started it. I know, but damn it! You called. I called. You're gonna yeah, get that's mad true. at me for. You're gonna get mad at me for talking to you. <laughs> ah. Okay, Mary. No, you know, I understand, and I—I said this last week. I really like that when I go out in public, the people that live here don't hold it against me about where I'm from. And uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put all of that down to just plain stupid and ignorance and they don't know any better. They don't probably have any more idea about the horrid shit that the States has done any more than most of the people that live there. Uh, I cannot count the number of times I've posted that Bill Clinton apology for experimenting on the public with radiation and uh, scientific experiments without their knowledge or consent. And people just, meh, okay. Well, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so part. you're just now starting to feel the effects of it, moron. Yeah. They doubled up on the chemtrails after they made that apology. Then they started to put mercury in the inoculation packaging just for shits and giggles, you yeah. know, to see what would happen. <laughs> well, yeah, because, you know, nobody rose, rose a, a stink or anything like that about the, the first one. And so they're thinking, ah, we got by with that one. Let's see what happens when we do this. Yeah, but the land of the free is turned into the land of if you argue against it, we'll lock you up. Uh, we the people, you fucker. And it's also turned into the land of the freebie. What you going to give me? Oh, wow. You know, but then who cares? It's all make-believe. You all act like it's coming out of your pocket for some fucking reason because you have a job. What's that got to do with it? It's not real. It's all credit. Whether if it's, whether on, it's if, real or not, though, that's the yeah. rules that they are applying. Yeah, that's but, what... But still... Okay, but rules are not. They're living in a reality you're not allowed to live in. So and I'll make my own for, reality. Mm, well, I do that as well, but it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't carry. <laughs> the status are still plentiful. Yes. They're still waiting for the government to fix the problems that they make. They don't understand the connection between government and problems they make. <laughs> yeah. So. We're, we're, it's like watching a bunch of monkeys throwing shit at each other. But these folks are using weapons that, that have life-ending results attached to them. And they talk about it like it's incidental, Clarice. Yes. They, don't, they talk about war like, ah, it, like changing a pair of shoes. Yeah. Wow. With no idea what they really what, – what's be, being done and what's being reported to you are not the same thing. Well, yeah. Well, how come um, average Joe voter that's for all this war doesn't seem to fucking understand what is going on on the other end of the war? And why and why the U.S. is there in the first fucking place has got nothing to do with what you think. And about freeing any fucking buddy. If it was about freeing people, why do you want to put up a wall? <laughs> Walls are to keep people in. <laughs> You can keep anybody out of shit with a wall, but you can keep them in. Do the math. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. Well, I remember a few things in the States that went really, really bad. And, you know, the government works in 20- and 40-year blocks, so they skip a generation. Well, yeah. At first, we haven't had a, a Nixon <laughs> since Nixon, but... Now we got Trump, which is pretty damn close. 
You know, a sleazy, slimy, slithery, snaky, snake oil salesman that would blow his girlfriend's dog for a hundred dollars, and that's that's what we get as leadership. Mm, well, that's because they give you a choice between shit and shittier. You know, you get you get the <laughs> shit that's got the little undigested kernels of corn, and you got the runny shit. Which one do you want? Yay! How about neither? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, those are the options you get. Doesn't it make wow. you feel makes you feel special? special. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. I I haven't I haven't bathed in my exceptionalism since. Uh, I don't know, probably since I left North Carolina. And even then, I didn't know I was bathing in my exceptionalism, but I've been told I was. So, there you go. Like, now I'm living in this country, so now I'm a communist. (laughs) Ah. (laughs) Well, you know, people have opinions, whatever that opinion is. I try to make the best of it. (laughs) But it's it's so far from the reality. Whatever you call something... You're just entertaining yourself with name calling and countries and states and organizations and people and it's all bullshit. Look around you. <laughs> huh. Well, yeah. Right now you I'm looking around me and I see two kitty cats sleeping. Does that is that what yeah, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And that defines a, a lot of us. You know? Cuz the outside we did all that long ago. We don't need to do that anymore. Now the kids do all that. And you know, and here we are in our little cubby holes, little hobbit holes and refugees and such. All over the world, like Mary B down in, in Australia. Mm-hmm. She's got her little well, she's got her, her winter she doesn't like and she's got her summer that's too hot. Just like everybody else. Pretty much, you know? yeah. Everybody says, Oh, come on, we're all alike. And our biggest problem in life, as you know, as good or as bad as we are, is usually the weather. And see, that's why they're fucking with it, <laughs> right? And we know it's a it's a direct product of government intervention and business. You know, so when I take over the planet, and I'm going to change the name Earth sucks. I'm going to call it something else. But when I take it over, I got it. I got a good idea. You ready for this? What's that? I'm going to ban air traffic. Okay. Can't get there by truck or boat. You're going to be sorry you tried it. <laughs> I would be a tough and benevolent dictator, let me tell you. Hmm. But, yeah, I think I've narrowed it down to a few few small incidental things. Okay, we our food and water is poisoned. Okay, we live on an inferior source of electricity. And all this flying and connecting shit that shouldn't shouldn't happen so fast. Hmm. Okay, I'll give you an example. There, I, because I've done it, there's something abnormal about having lunch in London and flying to New York and then being raced to a, another plane to go to California and being in California in time to go to a bar and celebrate New Year's Eve all in one day. <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of right. Yeah, but it's it's abnormal. And if you hadn't been involved in my life when it happened, you would have thought, "No, you weren't in London twelve o'clock today." Yeah, I was. But the time goes back, not forward, from there to, to L.A. Yeah, yeah. So you so you you're time back. traveling. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. But I've done enough of that stuff now in, in my life to know I'm I'm done with it all. But what, I look at the kids and wonder, wow, look at the world they got to go experience today compared to the one I had in the 70s and the 80s. Whoa. See, and, <laughs> and they not... can't grasp the concept of what we grew up in in the 70s and the 80s. And that's... that's... And neither could we. Yeah. Neither could, we didn't have the 40s and the 50s, see? So yeah. we did the same thing they're doing. And the one after them, and it's a social design. It's a collapse design. It doesn't work. It's never going to fucking work. And they just break us up into small little groups of dumbass, dumbass this and dumbass that. And then 
give you two idiots, the worst two idiots that they can find. They pit those two idiots against each other, and it don't matter which one of those two pricks you pick because they both work for the same people, and it ain't you. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, we agree. Oh, Mary, wait a minute. What? We need to fight about some. Oh, we agreed. I know. You know, you know how, makes me all mushy and sissy when we agree, so we have to get to something mean and evil. <laughs> okay, well, how about this tweet that Donald Trump did, the real Donald Trump? The global warming we should be worried about is the global warming caused by nuclear weapons in the hands of crazy or incompetent leaders. And that was dated 5-7 of 14. So, yeah, yeah, yeah and now uh, he's a crazy, uh, incompetent leader, and look what he's doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't know what he's doing, but I see the the uh, links on the Internet. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know what but, anybody's doing unless I see it right in front of my eyes, and then, then I'm we, really not you, sure. You know what my friend Hank, Hank would say? What's that? There's far too many of you. Some of you fuckers need to go. You're in my way. Get over. Um, well, yeah, there there is that. You're... You're yeah. You're being told right up front too. You're being sacrificed for the greater good of people you'll never know. What? <laughs> I don't care for that idea all that much. And eat the GMO. Drink the fluoride water. Yes, good my boy. Yes. Yes. Good little yeah. boy. Oh, okay. How do you ever justify? See, this is what I mean. I'm so against all this government shit to the to the point of of, of abandonment because. Of all the fucking lies and the the, just the mistrust I have for them that they brought on themselves. How can you believe anything that does that to its own people? Ah, oh, wow. Good question. How can you? I think it's because you grow up not realizing and there's a lot, there's a lot of people out there that... And, you know, that I'll admit freely that I'm sure there's an awful lot of shit that I am still... Swallowing that and once I realize, then I'll go, Whoa. Me too. Oh, I'm as indoctrinated as the next fucker. There are just some points of it that I see as bullshit. I do like the uh, having a good moral, you know, kind of fiber. That's not a bad thing. I like that people are safe in my company. You know, I'm not going to hurt anyone, and nobody's going to get hurt when I'm around if I can help it. And yeah. Nothing, not, yeah, nothing happens. My life is go, you know, I go be bopping down the, to the old guy's store and get my old guy food. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, I putter out in my yard and talk to the neighbors and go to work and talk to people and then come home and try not to talk to people and. <laughs> Uh, and then I hijack you and force you do the, to do the dork table uh, at gunpoint. At at gunpoint, nah. Mm. You yeah. have? Do you have a Nerf gun? I do no. have Nerf guns. Nah, I gave up on guns a while ago. Eh, eh. They're too tempting. You know. Well, you know, and I always thought about having a squirt gun fight around here, but then I thought, why? I have a hose, and they need the <laughs> hose to reload their squirt guns. I control the water. <laughs> uh, you violent little thing, you. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so, let's see. You want to want to hear about the latest exciting thing I'm doing in Denmark? What's the latest exciting thing you're doing in Denmark? Uh, I'm putting together a 2,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Sweet. Yeah. Well, we got some gifts, and that was in. That was one of them, and I liked the the picture. It's kind of an interesting thing. So I thought, hey, let's do this. And boy, is it a hard puzzle to put together. Wow. <laughs> but, you know, it keeps my brain cells kind of colliding with each other so I can think. Ah, I like doing jigsaw puzzles. And, you know, speaking of jigsaw puzzles... Um, <laughs> That brought something to mind. Okay. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Something exciting yes. that happened out here. Got my old yes. Dodge running, and so what? now I have to clean out the back seat and the trunk because when I moved here, I just put like puzzles and that kind of stuff on oh, the back seat and the trunk. Okay. 
So. And what kind of Dodge is? It's a '77 Dodge Aspen. Oh, a little one of those little four door fuckers. No, this this one is a two, two door two door with the Landau top. It was my uh, grandma's car. Ah, sentimental value. I yes, see. yes. Mm. I got it up and running the other day, and took it for a cruise around Booneyville, and mm. and went. Oh, it's so cool! I'm gonna have to start driving this to work because. And it's, but I don't want to put a whole hell of a lot of miles on it because right now it's got eighty four thousand miles on it. So. Hey, did I tell you that you live in the best place in the whole United States to live? Yes, you did. You told me that I think before the show, but yeah. Did Did you like that? Yeah. Did you disagree with my opinion about why? Actually, no. I I concur. I mean, yeah, it is mm. one of the safe because. You know, you stop and think about it and you think, okay, they're they're going to want to take out the food supply, but they're not mm. going to take out the food production, so they will take out the, yeah. you know, if anybody does anything stupid like that, they'll take out the transport system. But they won't mess with where the food is grown because they need to have food grown as well. And, yeah, I'm out in the middle of the boonies. So, Yeah. I want. I wonder what if Jesse James will come back and rob rob the trains. That would be interesting. Hmm. Well, I figure that by the time that this crap that they're planning does eventually, it's going to happen sooner or later. Can't prop this crap up much longer. I mean, they're pushing America again. Go to war. Go to every day, daily, daily, daily. For how many? Twenty years. Solid. Yeah. So, so and, that's what. And how can you go to war when you're already at war? I mean, we've pretty well, much declared war on the whole rest of the world. You know, <sighs> you know. keep kicking sand in people's faces often enough, and eventually someone's going to stand up and go, "Listen, I truly do appreciate you giving me the supply of sand, but you know, I'm going to give you some of it back now. And here, let's rub some in your ass crack while we're at it." And that's why I'm saying the if. If you as an individual should travel to a foreign country and don't act like a a, a warmonger, fucking you know Trump loving asshole, nobody's gonna bother with you. you no. Know? Yeah. And they they realize no, you're just trying to live a day just like they are. No country involved in it. Yeah. So. I mm, actually but, have a niece that's over uh, in Singapore right now. I think that's where ooh. she's at. Well, somewhere else besides Kansas is still somewhere else. But back to my theory about, because if you're in the center of all that crap, if the people that are, are in up to their eyeballs in shit, they can't all move to the center. That doesn't make any sense. No, they can't. I mean, the infrastructure it, you know, will just be clogged, number one. It's, huh, the infra, it, well, what whatever that shit they call it, it's... Hmm. I don't know. Well, I told you a map. You know what a map's good for? A map is good for finding out the spots on the fucking border you want to avoid. Yeah. That's a that's what a map is good for. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's. I keep going back to there's a um um Burke. Jonathan, mm-hmm. not, is it Jonathan Burke? Um, he did Connections. And one mm-hmm. of the first episodes that he did was about um, if the electrical grid would were to go down, what would what would you do? In a uh, modern yeah, technology, chaos. what would you do? Chaos um, would ensue. Yes, and he said, number one, you would try to get away from this big, massive conglomeration of people that you know, are fighting over each other for what few things are left. So you're going to try and get away from that, but you've got to stop and realize everybody else is trying to get away from it too. So you're going to have traffic jams, your car's going to run out of gas, yada, yada, yada. You're going to have to deal with other people trying to steal your mode of transportation. (laughs) But say you get out of... Yeah, so say you get out of that mess and you get to Mm. the countryside and you... Mm come upon a house in the countryside how do you know you're going to be able to do anything 
once you get to that house? How do you know that there's not going to be someone in that house that has a shotgun trained at you? How do you yeah, know that they're going are, to be yeah. willing to share with you? We, no, those people are trained to make uh, dinner out of you coming to take their shit. So it's a, it's, it's all that. This is what I'm telling you. It's all a social, uh, like a, like a game they're playing with us. The system that we're in. Yeah. And yeah. they know it. It's not a secret to them. It, it's a secret to the public because the public doesn't seem to realize when they get told the truth, they're being told the truth. A lot of times they seem to think it's entertainment. Well, they get told the truth and they say, oh, that's nothing like what I have grown up with, so it's got to be a lie. What I've grown up with. Wow. Yeah, well, that's the point of growing up is so that you can realize that all that make-believe shit, it's, it's all in their mind. Unless you agree with it, it's not real. Yeah. Because I can think of a half a dozen... Uh, representatives of other genders and uh, religions and countries I've encountered, and we never have a problem nose to nose. It's always the governments that that are behind us that have the problem. But me and the people, nah. Yeah, well, it's those fictitious entities that are always picking fictitious fights that the rest of us have to factually deal with the results of. But hey, Cowboy Tech is here. Hey, Cowboy, how hey, you doing, cowboy. hon? Yeah, well, yeah, but in your normal day, Mary, well, you've got business to do, though. Well, maybe it does affect you. But in a normal day, um, nothing on the outside world affects me. Yeah, I believe that. You know, Yeah, this this small little place has been, <clears throat> it survived long before our, uh, they needed to depend on, on the big system. It's got an old history. Mm -hmm. And even though we got modern day conveniences, there's still an underground, you know, of people that remember what it was like before the city came. And like I told you, progress came there, making the parking lot bigger. It's frightening. Woo! I'm going to cry. I'm a sad little dork. So, wow. So, some place that people predominantly use either mass transit. Or they mm -hmm. use, you know, bicycle people power, basically. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. have to increase the size of the parking lot. That means that modern technology is encroaching. Egad. Well, it, what it means is that the amount of people that travel through today is a lot more than they were when they built the parking lot in the original time. Yeah. Wow. That's all it means. That's change came. Mm-hmm. It finally because showed now, up. Right, but doesn't mean to me, okay, just because progress is building and this, that, and the other still, to me, is never going to fix the fact that the money is based on bullshit. Every fucking dollar of every country is crap, except for the three evil ones that I'll never live in. Iran, North Korea, and Cuba. There the money's real. But here, no. Yeah, but even there, that money isn't real. I mean, it's yes, it's all, it is. It's, no central no. bank. They're, no, they're they Why do you think they want them? How I know they don't have bank? a. I know they don't have a central bank, but the whole concept of money. Oh, the concept of money. Yeah, when you get usury in, so that you can. Yeah, but. I I I. It's, I still got my doubts. Yeah. You know, because I grew up, I grew up with a lot of stories about Cuba. In in the nineties, I lived in Miami with a lot of Cubans around. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then and w when I was beyond those years, I, I learned more and more about the Kennedy assassination and the Bay of Pigs and all the shit that led up to that crap that uh, got Kennedy killed in the end. And wow, we're and and the government that we live under now is a thousand times more intrusive powerful and um, bigger and yet we're the freest country in the world yeah go figure wow well, no i don't think so no but that's the story okay. that people swallow and it's like really this is the freest well, country wow and you're comparing see, it to what when i lived in it i treated it as a free country i lived in it freely 
I didn't get a driver's license. I had a bank account because, well, life life sucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But still, I, did, I only used it to uh, cash checks. Ooh, and you know, I read about um, a gentleman the other day yeah. who's just finally, finally getting some kind of something is being done about it but a couple of years ago he had huh. uh he'd purchased this house and um he'd done his taxes and he got some kind of tax break for um <laughs> for purchasing the house because of whatever energy saving and yada 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 so he got a really big tax refund well he happened to bank with with Chase Bank and so when he got he had his tax refund just direct deposited to his account. Well, Chase Bank said that, well, we closed that account because you had an overdrawn check, which we all know how the overdrawn check thing can work. You know, oh, you have an overdrawn check. It may have only been $5, but we're going to charge you a $30 overdraft yeah. fee, and yeah. we're going to keep doing that. And so the yeah. fees are what makes it astronomical. It's not necessarily, not that he didn't, but whatever. So they keep took the they took the money to cover the overdraft which was probably just a shitload of fees. And wow. then and then they issued him a check and mailed it to him for the wow. remainder of the refund that he got, which was over yeah. eight grand. So he was gonna pay off the loan on his car, you know, yeah. and be sitting good to where the only payment he had to make was payment on the house. Well he goes to the Chase Bank who actually it was a Chase check that he received in the mail for the remainder of his refund. He goes to a Chase bank, his Chase bank, to cash this check. <laughs> yeah. And they tell him that, no, this is a fraudulent check. And he said, uh, no, excuse me. And they seized his check over eight grand. Well, then he goes back a couple of days later because he gets a phone call or some such thing. And so he goes back a couple of days later, and he is wanting to get the money from his check. The police are there. They haul him off to jail for wow. um, forgery and for some other thing. Um, wow. Fraud and forgery and, and one other charge. Okay. And so this is on a Wednesday. So he's sitting there in jail. Well, apparently someone from the Chase Bank wound up calling the police department and left a message on an answering machine. So I don't know what that fuck number they called. But they called the police department and left a message on the answering machine saying that, oh, it was all just a big misunderstanding and yada, 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 and blah, 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 and we are not pressing charges. <laughs> Nobody checked the answering machine. This guy sat in jail for five days before he finally got released the following Monday. Wow. In the interim, he lost his job. Yeah. They towed his car away from the Chase Bank facility. He <laughs> did not have the money because they would not release the funds to him, so he didn't have the money to get his car out of the impound, so they sold his car. <laughs> so here he loses his job, loses his car, all of this other fun shit, never did give him his money. And now it's two years later, and he's finally got a lawyer that has just that has stepped up and said, "Yeah, well, uh, he's got someone that's cent, trying to yeah. you know, someone that's trying yeah. to help him out." And this yeah, lawyer sure. is now um, the lawyer had sent a scathing letter, according to this news article, <laughs> uh, to Chase Manhattan Bank to let them know that y'all just totally fucked this guy over, and this is yeah. what we're going to do to you. And yeah, yeah. two yeah. hours prior to the airing of this on the local news, which I think it was up in Washington State or someplace like that, two hours prior to them airing this, the yeah. Chase Bank finally contacted back this guy's lawyer, and they're going to try and work out some kind of resolution. But, <laughs> okay, the guy <laughs> finally got another job, and he still got his house and, you know, making his payments yeah. and all that fun shit. But but he lost his car. He lost the yeah. damn near $9,000. Yeah. Chase just took it, just said, nope, nope, nope. It's a fraud. What it's a forgery. Moral, 
Yeah, but what is the moral to this saga? Uh, the moral to this saga is those fuckers will fuck you over and then well, say that you're the bad guy while they're fucking yeah. you over. And then yeah. once you finally get out of whatever sh- shit pile they put you in, they'll go, what? We don't know what you're talking about. See, I mean, it, they're, they're, they're pushing the electronic world. They're making the electronic world more uh, attractive and less intrusive, but it's it's a more of a mind control thing in the first place. Well, it, and they say it's less intrusive, but it's really more intrusive because in order to be able to do that stuff, you know, you've got to give them more information. So you just want to go, wow. Uh, wow. No, I gave, up, I gave up wowing years ago. I'm beyond wow. The light from Wow, I'll never see that light. Mm. It's, sh- it's a shame. It was. I heard it was green. <laughs> oh, well, I like green. <clears throat> I like green. Anyway. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Why? Just because it's just kind of a happy color. Hello, Cowboy Tech. We have us. Hi, we Cowboy have Tech. Us on the RLM. He come in from the back 40 to... Sit and have a cup of coffee and listen to us talk about him. <laughs> there you go. Grimmy, Grimmy has the moral summed up quite nicely. Yeah. The moral is yeah. fucked if you do, fucked if you don't. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, I don't argue the fact. I just think that the further uh, that you can take don't, not necessarily, it's not like there's a scale attached to it, but the freer I feel as I don't associate in certain behaviors and activities. And who yeah. knew banking was one of them? Yeah. You know, I got, you. I found that out on a fluke, and I went, hey, this ain't so bad. Yeah. You know, and I don't deal with companies anymore, so there's no reason to cash a check in, in the first place for me today. So, hey, who cares? Hey, Grim Neuron is online. Yay. Dorky Lynn is back, too. Hi, Dorky Lynn again. Uh, hey, Lynn, they must be having trouble with their internets. Because uh-huh. different countries, too, but uh, especially Skype. Skype yeah. or, yeah, oh, Skype and what else? Google. What's Ugh. that other one? Firefox. I mean, all of, we're fucked. <clears throat> oh, and I I'm saw t- Firefox is starting to take on some of the characteristics of Google and some uh, of that come shit. on, it's all, oh, crap. I keep telling you from, about it all this. We're getting the same level of garbage, okay? Mm-hmm. See, they polish a turd, and one company polishes their turd, and the other company doesn't. You're still getting shit, and if you don't know that by now... Will you please share your fucking bag with me because your shit's good. <laughs> ah. You don't okay. have to be high to know you're getting royally reamed in the, you know, how we live part of life. It's yeah. The, the details of why they sound so complicated, but in the reality of it, it's not. It's not that complicated of, of a situation. It's a matter of how willing are you to go through the levels of shit you got to go through to free yourself of the shit that you feel is binding you. Shit that's binding you. Well, that sounds like you need to, you know, do some apple cider vinegar or something. You're well, you're all like, bound up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like a slave to the to the electronic company, the electricity company, to the computer company. You know, to all these companies and all their fucking brilliant shit, and I think with a you know with a, a functioning internet and a couple of pieces of paper, I could build my own fucking computer from nothing. Got all the damn directions on the internet. You can do anything with a computer now. Yeah. So if you have a little hands-on, you know, hand eyesight thing going on, you're good. You can do whatever you like. But. What happened is they tricked us into working to survive, and it wastes all that productive time that you had, and you wasted it all going to work, working, and sleeping. 
and didn't have any time to enjoy any of it. Yeah, isn't that funny how you you work to have things and then you once you have those things you have to work some more to pay for finish paying for those things and then and then you have to and then and then and then, and it just keeps going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Well, I'm more finding out now than I did before. I think because I got I took the Cirque thing more seriously. So, you know, I was always more willing to travel before this. Mm-hmm. You know, and now I don't want to do that no more. Shit, it's like pulling teeth to get me out, out beyond the stores here in town. I like this town. It's comfortable. It's enough, but uh, who knows? But I think, you know, that's the way I feel now. And I, every, t- every time I... Uh, think about it it's always the same answer it's not like i'm fluctuating between two places like i used to today it sucked tomorrow oh tomorrow might be better well let's go do tomorrow somewhere where it may not suck we already know what it did here (laughs) Ah. Uh, hey i have a public uh, service announcement yeah the grim grimner (laughs) no no over here on fakey book my brother-in-law fakey book brother-in-law yep He has a picture of a historical marker. I have no idea where this is at. They don't give that information, but the historical marker says, On this exact spot in the afternoon of April the 27th, 1968, a marital argument was won by the husband. I want to find that spot. (laughs) Everybody wants to find that spot. (laughs) Well, you know, it's it's not really very manly to <clears throat> to be stronger than a female anyway, when you think about it, because in some ways we are, and in some ways we're not. You just got to define what they are. Ah. And, hey, there's some guys that don't like a smart female. Me, I like the smart female. The smarter the female, the more I like her. Ah, ah. Yeah. Ah, Cirque's no dummy. Let me tell you, the little girl's got a brain in her skull. Yes, she if does. You know, in fact, in, in fact, if you take it a step further, I got a female radio partner on the dark table. You ain't no slouch there, Miss Mary. Little goofy sometimes, but you're a bright young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the goofy goes along with it. That's just how I deal with the uh, rest of it. If, if you if you can't laugh at this shit once in a fucking while, then you're probably voting for it. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, you know, all that is is imposing your will on me. Yeah. And all I want for other people is for them to have exactly what they wish I had. <laughs> Yeah. That is the best fucking way I can think of living. Keep some honest. Yes. Yes. So, you know, if I wake up with a, you know, German tumor on my ass, I'll probably think of hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and I, well, pretty I, damn close to I mean, forty miles or something. I'm real. We got a, a German border on this part of Denmark here. It's, we're a little north of it, so I could get on the train and go down south to the German border and spit on Germany and come home. <laughs> oh, hey! But is it really worth the trouble? Uh, I just you Probably. you said something about Probably. having a German tumor on your ass, and the first thing I thought mm-hmm. of was a boil that looked like one of those German uh. helmets. <laughs> <laughs> You want to uh, you want to survey my my helmet, Miss Mary? No, <laughs> no, uh, thank you. <laughs> Hill, Hill dog, dog has never seen it. Hill, <laughs> there's probably a lot of things Hill dog has never seen, and I don't want to I don't want to see what she has seen. Ooh, so, whew. Why she, do you take that so personal? What? 
Because I do. Just, I personalize just, things. Cause that's... Just because she's a female. I mean, it's not like she's representing you. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's exactly what that is. Well, she's Whoops. trying to represent herself Well, no, for I mean, me. she's trying to represent women. Yeah, yeah. That's the modern day woman. Oh, boy. Get Yippee. me out my shotgun. I'm going hunting. <laughs> yep, I'm going to go hunting for her. <laughs> Load me up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did see something about. Um, a, I think I even talked about it. A court case that was one where they are now going to make the Department of Justice go and look at the uh, underlings' mm. emails on the government servers, and it's like you really think that shit didn't get deleted? But hey, you know, props to you for pushing. But. Well, it's just the entire waste of resources that all that shit truly is. Yeah. It's too big to manage. It All it has is so chock full of liars and thieves. The honest ones get murdered, so come on. Abandon and ship. Well, you know, what's it going to take for a, a small country or state somewhere to finally fucking get it and go, no, we're done. You know, those people aren't getting murdered. They're committing suicide, damn it. Which ones? Any of them. Just ask ask the law enforcement officials. They will tell oh, you, those. oh, it was it was suicide, mm-hmm. I tell you. But they were so crafty in their they they were overachievers in their suicidalness because they ditched the weapon to where they couldn't find it. Did you get a chance to check out that program on Netflix I was pitching at you? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Oh, uh, you're missing. You what? I'll tell you what. You give it an hour. I know you're not a big movie buff, but it's a it's a series. But if you watch the one episode from the beginning to the end and aren't interested to see what kind of shit they came up with after that, I won't ever bring it up again. <laughs> But I think if you watch the first episode, you go, wow. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but they've they've even created things that are – they where they've misrepresented illegal as legal and telling you that things that are legal are illegal and telling you things that are illegal are legal. Okay. Depending on how well, – this is like you're saying – depending on how you look at that picture – is the result you're going to get back in from seeing it? It's nice. designed. It's designed to hit you from no matter what spot you're looking at it from. You're going to see what you want. Yeah. And I think it was written that way. But it still, it's got that NLP freaking Hollywood goo goo shit all over it. Somehow that doesn't seem to get me so much as the. How they dis- how they disguise things as things that are not, and get them right by you through television. Yeah. Okay, like they justify like kicking in somebody's house front door and searching them, and you know all that shit with guns and SWAT teams, and they justify all that with movies, right? Yeah. But legally, what they have to do is knock on your door and offer you a warrant. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what they're supposed to do. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, who's there? Police, we have a warrant for you. And then if you start shooting, they defend themselves. But they've turned all this shit through the movies into they've got the right to attack you with no warning, no matter who you are, because if they hit the wrong house, it's not their fault. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Not my fault. Your house looks so much like this three-story when yours is a ranch. Yeah, not my fault. Miss Mary, do you think there's a possible chance I could be on the wrong see the wrong team here? <laughs> uh, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Would it strike you as odd if I told you I wasn't on anybody's team? You are on somebody's team. You're on your own team. Mm, uh, okay. Team uh, Flasher. Yeah, against America. What are you insane? No, Team Flasher doesn't go against anyone. Team Flasher just does his own damn thing, and and yeah. Right, but it's interpreted today by the, the the laws of the today that we live in. I'm a I'm a terrorist, Mary. <laughs> yeah, I know you These are. People, okay, I just you know gotta what? read. 
I was trying to get the duck, and the damn big dorky uh, beat me to it again. So I said big. carp, and Grimmy says that yeah, I'm fishing instead moment. of hunting. I know uh, we had a duck moment. You people and your ducks. It's all mind control. Well, yeah, it is. It is. But, you know, that's one of those things that if you acknowledge it, if you know it is, and you still participate, then you got no one else to blame but yourself. What the hell? Right, right. right. And see, and you know that on, on the level of being able to play play with it. Mm-hmm. It's not real serious. Well, I'm competitive. Oh, I want to win. So I thought, I'm not even going to play. See, and I have a son-in-law that's like that. By God, anything he does, he's got to win at it. And he is very, very, very. And I'm like, really? Okay. You yeah. just you just well, go I right like ahead. To, I like to play trivia, but I'm not as fast as a, of a typer. You know? Yeah. And then sometimes I'll have the right answer, but I'll spell it wrong. And somebody else <sighs> spell it right before I catch that I spelled it wrong. And, I'm, you know, I'm slow typing, so... It's my shortcoming, if you know what I mean. Makes uh, me makes me not good at playing trivia. See, in me, I just say spelling schmelling, because yeah, between the spelling I, and the punctuation, that period always gets me. And, you know, I am past that time in my life. I shouldn't be getting <laughs> fucked over by a period anymore. <laughs> period, yeah. Oh, speaking of periods, uh-huh. I, I got on the... Uh, I got on the trivia game late one day, or maybe the second question or third, something like that. Anyways, it was one of those ones nobody could answer right away. Mm-hmm. And I read it, and I came in late, so I came in like 20 seconds that already passed. So I read the thing, and I go, oh, time. So I type in the thing, and uh, Paul Bunyan says, Googling. And I said, hey, fuck you, Paul Bunyan. I'm not Hans. <laughs> <laughs> He laughed back. Well, because, yeah, I could understand, but I I wouldn't do that. So I took it serious. Hey, wait a minute. Google. No, no, no. We're playing trivia. You do this out of your memory. You can't remember. You fucking don't remember. And a big deal. But I've I've seen him do that, though. (laughs) See, and I I just... uh, I don't even think to Google stuff. You know, it's like, wow, where's that book? Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. Beyond yeah, beyond that, ninety percent of the shit we know, whether we know the right date and the right time and the right name, we don't know the right reason whatever happened happened for. Yeah. Ah, remember I was pitching you that uh, it's all uh, it's it's all a rich man's game. Mm Mm-hmm. That link I found on the YouTube Uh that was clever. Whoa. Yeah. Did that put a whole another fucking light on the damn World War Two for you? Yes, it did. Because it was proof. I mean, these are things that older men have told me that I could never prove them with uh, paperwork. And here we got links that back it all up. All the stories are real. The Bushes were fucking horrible people. Oh, see, and I I had seen a couple of things prior to that and read a few articles along those lines and went, God, rat bastards, you know, and then... You shared that link, and it was like, holy carp. It's, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, World War II, all that violence and killing and shit was a distraction from the reality of the uh, elite had enough money to lease Germany and hire thugs to do their dirty work for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they created that damn, uh, not, the, not the slave camps. It was free labor is what it was. And they made the you know they made money off the corpses as well. Not to say that they didn't feed them and all that. I'm sure there was some people that didn't you know it couldn't have been all that suffering you know uh, years and years and years. You know what I mean? Yeah. It might have decayed towards. But I I don't believe like they started out with. You don't get production out of people you don't treat at some level like they're people. So, I, you know, I think the, what we're shown is, that, like, the extreme, the very end, when they ran out of money to feed them with. Well, and they didn't run out of money. It's just that the supply lines were all totally destroyed by that time. Well, well how, okay, the details. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Supply lines. Yeah. Well, well anyways, if you can't get food stuff to them, then. Right, right. But it was more about slave, free, free labor for the elite. Because that's what they had built up since the 1850s was this this wealth 
wealth wasn't heard of at that level amongst these people until about 1850, 1870. Mm -hmm. And then they got together and figured out how to control everything around them. Yeah. Uh, and it worked. Uh, you got people today that think Hitler was a great leader. Hitler had a fucking banker pushing him just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, they they looked for him. He fit the profile of the guy they wanted in the chair. Henry Ford made money off both fucking sides. Germans used Ford England Ford engines too. Yeah. I mean, crying out loud! It is see, none of this is real. Although, yeah, okay, people went to war and people shoot each other and all that crap. That part's the fucking real part. But what's not real is the bullshit that they tell you to get you to participate in it. Yeah. Yeah. The results are real because those are based on the actions that they prodded you, not necessarily forced you, but prodded you into. No, you're, yeah. I'd call a draft of fucking force. World War well, that, I was, yes. there was, there was They were threatened. You go to prison or you go to war. This isn't a request. Yeah. Woodrow fucking Wilson, fucking piece of shit. Yeah. But, okay, but I don't think it was Woodrow Wilson that did it. It would happen in his time of holding the seat. I think the people behind him are the ones that did it. It's too big for any one person to do anything. Well, yeah, but there was a lot of... Hmm. A lot of what? A lot, a lot of, of a lot of people rich. believed the bullshit as well, and and yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we believed in the newspapers were real, just like today. People on RLM think these links are real, and I think the links are the same. They're produced by the same people that produce the truth, produce the lie. It's all connected. And it doesn't matter which side you pick. It just matters that you pick a side. Yeah. That's what I think. Mm. You know, and not that we're wasting time and, oh, it doesn't help anybody. It's just if that's your intention or your goal or anything, you're nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. look, at, look at anybody that's got any success – in the end, it's just wasting people's time with a bunch of rhetoric that's not true. The things that we need to know, we don't talk about those things. The things that we shouldn't know, we talk about those all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So I was really disappointed about uh, the financial end of free energy crushed me. I was that, you know, that was my naive side coming out. Because I didn't speak the lingo of the time at the time that I heard it. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, I'm going to take five years, the next five years, and with the people that I know, encounter, and meet in the future, I'll try to make my own um, magnet run generator. And uh -huh. I don't know fucking anything about the topic except I'm going to build one. Yeah. Well. That's it. Well, there Nothing you go. more to know. So I'll probably do some kind of open source thing on the internet. Mm -hmm. Rob, Rob was talking about it. Maybe we'll start us a, another startup uh, page of beginners that want to do something that doesn't cost them any money, or uh, you don't. You, nobody even needs to know your name. This ain't about prestige and being popular. It's about getting a um, getting something done. Yeah. You know, and we can use the technology available to do it. Yeah, and a lot of, I mean, a lot of it is actually from old technology that, oh, they didn't have technology back then, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure they did. It was just not run on electricity is all. It's just different, um, different form of it. Yeah. Is balance and, and um, common sense go back a lot further than electricity does. And even if they did have electricity, then why would they bury that fact and not tell us about it? Why was electricity suddenly invented in the 1800s? 
Okay. You know, it could be we're we're lied to about that too. How do you you can't I can't trust anything government, news, religion, education. It's all horseshit. Okay, I'm I've been looking for that link of that video. <laughs> a Grimner. <laughs> uh, Grimner strikes. Oy. Oy. Oh, what link? Oh, what cowboy is the link you want? The one I was talking about called uh, uh, "Rich Man's uh, Everything Is a Rich Man's Game." Okay. Type yes or no, and if it is, I'll get it for you and post it here. But I just saw that and thought I'd. I'm actually having a conversation on the RLM through the Dork Table program. Okay, the Everything is a Rich Man's huh? Trick? Yeah. Okay, from JFK to uh, 9-11? Oh, uh, and then there's a part two that you can get later, but oh yeah, it's worth it's worth listening to. And okay, even okay. One, I found it. Help. I found it. Well, bless your heart, I was going to do it. Well, but I was just, I know that you, had, you kind of sort of don't like doing that while you're... Talented than me, so, you, oh, you little girls, yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, could never. Ah, but what? see, okay, right, but that's what I mean. If a few seconds means it's possible. See, that's the whole point of science. Is to me, not the way they've shoved it down everybody's throat. It's to try to understand how something works and make it work. Yeah, and I think I know enough people on the internet, you know, through the little collection of RLM and such, that probably put our own team together and see what we can figure out. And that why need why do you need money? Money is the enemy of all of us. Fuck! I don't want to do this for any money. I don't want to sell anything to anyone. I just want to see if we could put the fucking information together and make it open to people that want it. And if you're chasing money, don't don't get involved. Yeah, that would be you know, my message to, uh, you know, I appreciate it. I, I did it myself as a younger fella. I'm finished now. Now I want to uh, try to do something. And I don't even know if it would ever work, but at least it's something to do that's uh, not like a complete waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. Lack smoking dope and drinking uh, alcohol and talking to Miss Mary on the RL and M. Well. You know, it's it's not so much like fame and fortune. It's more, I want to be involved in something that makes me feel better about how I'm living. Yeah. Because I've been taking the uh, the advice of Larry Woods and you, you know, and mm -hmm. a few other people that eh, they know who they are. But uh, I'm still here. And I'm not getting more crotchety as I age. I seem to have, like, stabilized. You know? Hey, there you go. The creaking and the croaking's down to a min minimum. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. I don't. I don't even need to drink that. There, Jerry, tall for for uh, iron poor blood. Isn't that just so that makes you more conductive if you drink uh, iron additives, <laughs> take iron pills. Yeah. I. Do you, does the body even absorb that properly? And put it to use. I don't. You're, I, hey, you're, you're the liquid guru here at this ah, table. I will have to. Now I'm going to have to duck, duck to go that because I don't do. Yeah, because I'm, I, I'm the Jew. I do weights and measures, but and all that other stuff, all that medical stuff and such, I leave it to the professionals. And then when I need a lotion or, you know, something to make my, my uh, life improve, I go to you. Ah. I'm ah. going to name my my next sex doll Spanky. Boy. <laughs> 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 I, told, I told Hansel if, if he posts his, his address for me on the RLM, I'll be happy to send him a blow-up doll and a bottle of juice to get him started and I'll even call the blow up doll Hank so he can have a yank with Hank but he won't do it he won't play back with me oh I'm man sad. I know the guy he's got a sense of humor about like Trump and shit but <laughs> boy talk about a blow up doll and he just falls apart <laughs> I hate when that happens <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, like that happens to you. When was the last time somebody offered to buy you a blow-up doll? Um, actually... <laughs> Wait a minute, never mind. I have well, one. I, I, you have one. <laughs> is, is, this, is there a good reason for you to have a blow-up doll? Um, is it female or male? Wait a minute. Well, I, get it's, it's I female, but it, it was so oh, funny the way... Um, it's got boobs. <laughs> no, a friend of ours um, let us... have boobs? And how do you know Yeah, it female? does. Uh, a friend of oh, ours okay. let us use it for a Halloween thing one time. Uh, um, <laughs> well, we'd, yeah, we'd blown it up and, and dressed it up and did makeup and all this other fun shit. And then he moved, and he didn't want it back. And it's like, well, God damn, I don't want this stupid thing. Well, then someone found out that I had one, and they went, we want to pull a joke on the dentist. Yeah. So we, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I still have, I don't think she holds air, but, you know, it's still, it's funny. Every once in a while, I'll go through my Halloween box, and I'll run across that, and I'll just laugh. But, it's a dirty girl. <laughs> so, oh, we got a response from the Cowboy Tech about the, uh, about the link. He said he's got it downloaded. Yeah. I know it's a long, it's a long fucking link, and, but, and and once in a while you'll see one of those two three hour things and go oh my god, and then when you turn them on, they're worth every fucking minute of time that you spend listening to it. And this particular one, it goes into uh, explanations of the details I'd never seen before. And I take I think they take it beyond theory and put it into actual. This is the only possible way this could have been done. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and there's details that happened on that same day. You were distracted by Oswald and shit. There were other things that happened that day the public wasn't told about. And if they were, it wasn't made, oh, you know, oh, daily thing, and they pounded it in your head like Oswald, Oswald. It was this other guy, this cop that got killed that day. Yeah. Yeah. I went, whoa, wow, that I didn't know that. So, you've heard me for years. I've been bitching like a little girl about this, but it's all bullshit. And this is one more time. And I know I'm dependent on a link and, you know, other people's opinions about what they saw and then their explanations of this means this and this means that. Mm -hmm. But that particular link is made to that detail. As they tell you, this is what you saw and this is what really happened. You know, and if... It, Americans built the fucking railroad system to Auschwitz. Mm-hmm. Wow. That was American money. Yeah. Wow. Well, then, see, then you got to start rethinking World War II. Did you know the headquarters of the Nazi Party was in New York City? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Wow. They talk about it about 20 minutes into that link. I went, holy shit. Yeah. The, our presidents and all that crap all link back to that shit. They were investing in it. Oh, well, yeah. Sick bastard. Bush made enough money off of World War II investments to finance an oil business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coincidental business uh, profits find you in the dark. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, it, and to me, if if the core of your money, if if that's based on bullshit and anything you do after it is just a it's a process. It's just more bullshit. Even though it happened, that makes it real, but the results are negotiable. You know, I'll never bow to a Jew or a fucking Nazi ever. Fuck them both equally. But my mom's Jewish, and I play the Jewish thing because I, I don't. It's funny to me. Yeah. You know, it's a group of fucking people that think they're better than you because you let them fuck you in the butt. Don't use their system. Oh, but we have to. There's no other way. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, maybe they they don't see another way because they just haven't been able to do any kind of. Um... No, there is no. There is no other way. There, it's it's impossible. Mm. This this life 
the life, the systems that we live in prevent us and monitor every fucking thing we do so that we can't do these things. You have to work for certain kinds of companies. You have to pay taxes on your income. You have to pay electric bills. You know, you have to pay for transportation. You got to pay for the groceries that you get. So whatever, however much you can avoid it, you're still, the taxes are still being collected off the same fucking phony paper. Doesn't matter. And the same fake electronic transactions. It's all a game. It's not real. Yeah, it's all a game, but I I see people that are incrementally stepping away from the game, and the game gets starved if you quit yeah, playing it's it. A ment- yeah, it's a mental wavelength. It's not a physical, oh, I'm not paying my taxes. Okay, well, no, that could get you in some serious fucking trouble if you've signed up to do so. You're stuck. You have to do that shit. You agreed to it. But if you didn't sign up to it, don't. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you're not in that fucking game, don't get in it. Yeah. They can't take something from you until you beg them to let you in their secret club that they don't tell you the rule, what the rules are. <laughs> oh, come on. We got us another sucker. Step right up, fool. Yeah. Yeah, and they know better. They know they're so smart. They understand why they need to put mercury in the packaging of an inoculation, and it's too deep for you to understand. So shut the fuck up. Mhm. That's how we get treated as human beings. I think. Yeah. But by the very people that these idiot voters choose to do this shit to us. Yeah. But see, they and don't. And then they complain. I heard you the other night about. Oh, they complain about term limits. Your answer? Well, I don't like your answer any better than I like theirs because yours keeps the lie going. Well, yeah. but my answer was: if you believe this, that yes, voting yes. actually it's, works, then yes, vote for the, the other guy. But you're not. You're giving that fucker that does believe hope because you're giving him that believe you believe. Of course. That's what they're playing on is your believe bone because that little child in you that wants the world to be a nice, wonderful place so we can all get along. But, but sometimes, sometimes you have in, to take people in baby steps, you know. So if they yeah, actually I don't no, but but if you really if you really believe that voting makes a difference oh, and that, that you okay. can and that you can vote these sorry son of a bitches out, then every one of you go out there and vote those sorry son of a bitches out. And if they still get in there, then there's your proof right there that voting doesn't do shit. It takes 10 years to prove what I can prove in five minutes. Well. Go up to a politician and ask them to their face if they are better than you or not. Defy any of you to do it. Ask them right to their face. Do you think you're better than I am? And you'll and, know. And you'll get and of this. Course they do. Uh, well, uh, well, yeah, that's what you'll get for you'll a get, response. And then you'll get all you'll, this fancy schmancy gobbledygook. You'll get anything but the truth because they're politicians. Yeah, fancy schmancy gobbledygook. Politicians don't tell the truth, Mary, please. And if they do, they're out at the end of the term just like you were. Well, eh. I wasn't really a politician. I got accused of being a politician, but I just... Uh, Well, you know, in the traditional sense of the term, how I mean it is you did your time, got the fuck out. Yeah. You You didn't want to stay. No. Figured it go. was someone else's turn to jump in there and see just how fucked up it is. <laughs> right. But if there was more like you, maybe the ass women we're getting would be a little greasier. <laughs> <laughs> be more lube you know, to it. <laughs> I don't know. Something would feel better than the shit that really happens. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, Grim. Their taxes, the my taxes. I, where I'm stuck on all this fucking shit, I probably overset it 50 million times. But if we're we're living in a debt based economy, how can you own anything? It, what you're in debt. You don't own when you're in debt. 
And if the people that supply the money are in debt, what do they have for you? They're in debt. Well, yeah, the people that supply the money, if they're in debt, then yeah. when they give you that money that is created from debt, they are just giving you some of their debt for you to spread around a little bit more. And then when you read the the fine print of the rules of their their currency and who owns it, wow, you're a slave for free in the end. For the right to eat and sleep inside and wash the dirt off with some soap, you know, and not eat cold beans out of a can if you've got a stove. I mean, you, well, you're they even doing, get those beans in a can. But see, my reality dictates that as a life form. We should live like the birds and have food. Yeah. But no, these idiots want to poison the food that we get and charge us for it, too. And I'm a little ticked off about that there pro program. I don't like it much. But my peers seem to think I'm insane and I'm a communist. Yep. But I would rather that if me and Cirque grew something that if there's an abundance, it went to the neighbors instead of to waste. Because, you know, it's not about, hey, I grew all this and it's mine. It's about, hey, eat this shit before it goes bad. Yeah. Well, ha what happened to that part of people? You know, why are we such, you know, on the overall, I mean, on the, if you look at us, we're all a bunch of skeezy, greedy, freaking self-absorbed, selfie Nazi wannabes. And sometimes I don't like it. Yeah, there's a lot of times I don't like what's going on in this world, and then I think, mm, I don't think I can really affect that over there, so I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and not fucking people over while I'm doing it. Okay, well, you affect my wavelength, even though you're in Kansas. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm out in public, you're not there with me. I don't think you affect my wavelength then. No. I think I'm in control of it at that point, and I don't I don't draw any dirty crap in the public eye. I get treated really good here. It's like, wow, well, it's nice to be alive, that kind of shit. Yeah. As I trek home with my bag full of goodies from the local store. Ah. I like that fresh coffee, you know what I mean? With the milk and all that fluffy, fruff, like what I call it, that uh, faggy, frothy coffee syrup makes me, you know? Oh, yes, a Gotta frothy have coffee. Milk. Yeah, well, I don't like milk, and so I want it fresh if I'm going to drink it at all. And hot, so there you go. But cold milk and me ain't friends, but I want it, you know, I want it my coffee, so... I have a dilemma. <laughs> do you see my problems in life? Yes, I do. Is that cool as fuck? Don't you wish you had a problem like that? Um, I don't know. I, I get told that I make better coffee. <laughs> One of the guys at work says, did you make the coffee this morning? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's like, really? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I just, yeah. But, you know, Circles does put a little extra something-something in there, too, so. Boy, you ain't kidding. Okay, just, I'm trying to respond to Sock here. And, what? Um, well, he said something about uh, generalities that make statements unbelievable, and so I'm responding. Um... Which, yeah, okay, blanket, I do agree with that. You know, blanket statements are probably just as much of a lie as the obvious in-your-face um, oh, yeah. lie not, about they, the detail. I'm not saying that the truth is in our grasp. I'm just saying that there's a group of us that accumulate here that seem to understand what it is. Although it's out of reach, we know what it is. And in our own little way, in our own lives, we live it. Mm -hmm. And then there's some people that want the state to crawl so far up their ass they can tell them what they had for dinner last night. But I'm not one of those people. Well, and, you know, it's so I, I have some really good friends in town that, mm. that 
You know, they agree that things are fucked up. They agree that the state is screwing them over. They agree that that this is all a mess and that it would probably be best if we... And then in the next breath they mm-hmm. say, okay, I've got to go do this because, well, yada, 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 some kind of punishment from the state. And it's like, okay... Let's mm. try here with baby steps here. And I'm 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 baby stepping myself here, but you know, sometimes you have to in order to Yes, sock puppet, yeah. color it any way you like. Um and I do. I, I have my crayons and yeah. my coloring book and my blanket that's, port. But, um, that's the unique point, Mary, is most folks don't. They're divided on two sides. And then there's the rest of us. That don't want to play that. And then they call, like, people like me, they'll call me an anarchist. And then they'll, violence, are you out of your fucking mind? The last thing I want is violence. I just don't, I think your rules are a bunch of horse shit. And then they'll throw, oh, well, don't kill. Well, come on, common sense doesn't need to be reminded, you fucking monkey. True. Oh, and you know, that brings up another thought of something that I was discussing with someone earlier. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I I know I've been saying I've been listening to a lot of Mark Passio again, and I, I just happened across a, a link the other day where he was talking about vegetarians and all this other fun, ve- vegetarians and and Satanism or some such whatever. Mm, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah, thought, yeah. oh, okay, let's check this one out. And basically, the premise of his video was, if you are a meat eater, you are a Satanist. Mm -hmm. And I went, wait a minute here. Wait a minute Mm -hmm. here. Blanket statement. Sock, I think you will appreciate this. How How do you consider someone that consumes meat, you know, because he said, um, if you eat living flesh, which, huh? Now, um, I thought eating, you know, veggies and fruits and nuts and all those other fun things, those things are considered living flesh as well, you know, until maybe you remove them from the plant. Um, But the same holds for critters then. You know, once that critter is no longer living... You know, when you remove pieces of it, and then you prepare it, and you consume it, to me it's an energy exchange. You know, and this is part of the physicality. And maybe I'm just buying into the satanic mindset, if you will. But I just, that, that whole blanket statement that he made there where if you consume the flesh of animals, you are a Satanist. It's like, what? How in the hell... Does eating meat make me a Satanist? I just because don't get he said that. So. Well, apparently, well, and and to me that was that was one of those blanket statements where it's like, wow, wow. I, well, I wanted to mention the sock because he he knows this anarchy thing too, and and the way we're we're uh, judged by people that don't hold that belief is. Most of the time, it's ill-advised bullshit that they know, and if they knew the truth, they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, look down on an anarchist position. But I don't think they understand what an anarchist position truly is, because it's got hijacked by Hollywood and misrepped. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. there you go, Grim. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. But people can see they can do things for shock value to see what kind of response they're going to get. Do I annoy you as much as you annoy me? Really? Po- possibly at times. <laughs> right, but it's, <laughs> it's a question. I'll tell you, you got the people you ask that you, they better love you because if they hear it wrong, they're going to throw stuff in your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. the hell you think you're talking to, nigger? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, to me it's, and I know I catch myself at it all the time. Um, We're just people trying to get through a day. Don't don't get too far ahead of yourself and think that you, you know, think that you got it mastered. <laughs> it's a it's a new one every morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, uh, 
I just, there are times when I just go, wow, honey, you're really telling me that I'm this bad thing just because I don't agree with what you had to say. Okay. You know, well, it's, it's a... Like, it's like, it's and like I my catch grandpa. myself. I make judgment calls on people because of a label, and then I have to, then I catch myself and I go, "Wow, wow! I really need to back up just a skosh here, because <laughs> I just did well, the I'll same let... damn thing I called someone else out on. Wow, <laughs> shit, shit!" So I wanted to do a quote before the end here because we're almost done. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Well, yeah. my grandfather, my grandfather, pissed, pissed off or son. Ah. Okay. <laughs> never, never mind. It was it wasn't that good. Oh, okay. Mm. Piss, piss off, yeah, well, huh? Yeah, but the the anarchist mindset has been portrayed through media over the last however long many years, like weed, like some kind of uh, mania and uh, group, and, and no, it's people that want to be left the fuck alone. Don't give me your shit. I won't give you any shit. We get along. It, it's a mindset. It's it's not a it's not a group you can be identified in. It's different than that. See, and I'm I'm just a meist. You know, I will do yeah, what works for live. me, and and I yeah. will make sure yeah. that I don't do something that makes some or gives someone else the the impression that they need to do something against me in order to keep me from doing. Some harm to them. I, did that make? No, that didn't make damn bit of sense. I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. I know you, so I know what you're getting at. You do know, what to other. Well, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah. I don't wish, do to wish, someone else what you don't want done to yourself. And you know, and conversely, I like your way of doing it too. You know, I wish on other people what they wish on me. You know, and and. Yeah, I can't lose unless you know, they're you, sad. It's, yeah. You know, like I said, if I wake up with that wart on my ass, I know Hans has been thinking of me. Because yeah. I don't, I don't know anybody in life, in real life or internet life, besides Hans, that would wish something like that on me. Huh. He's the only one, yeah, and he's come out and pretty much said he said worse on the internet. Uh, he's a mean little Nazi wannabe. Ooh, I'm telling you, but. Uh, there's always tomorrow. He might win. Hey, he might. And then the next day he might lose because any given Sunday. In any case, well, y'all been listening I, to the Dork Table here on RealLibertyMedia.com channel 3. Also on the um, RLM uh -oh. radio.xyz site and all kinds of other places out there on the Internet. Now that I finally figured out which buttons I'm supposed to push and not be in such a dork. Hey, it's Dork Table. I got to be dorky. So, Kira's You're coming calling. on later. Today. Kira on the bridge. Yeah, Kira's going to be here on the, the RLM, and then hopefully Bo Diddy will be later on this evening. Tomorrow, and once she's again. Got big boobs for all you boobs. Oh, hey, there you go. Also, tomorrow, talk about them. <laughs> Grimner with the blues, Hal Anthony with a, opening up a can of whoop ass, and, and we'll also have Gary Ellen Gigi's boo with the road less traveled. So. Thanks everybody for listening in and yeah, playing thanks, along. All you guys. And we oh, will yeah. catch you on the flip side. Or send bail money to get Mary out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> <com>. that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, love you, bye. <laughs>